In this video, I'm going to teach you three fundamental functions in App Script. Copy data from a sheet to another sheet, to copy a selection of data from a sheet to another sheet, how to copy data from other sheets into the sheet you're working on. These are the three functions I've built here and I'm going to show you how to build them. Copy sheet to a new sheet. So I'm taking this whole sheet, which is the active sheet, and that's going to copy that data all onto a new sheet. Another function is I'm selecting a range of data. I'm going to copy this selection onto a new sheet. I want to copy a sheet from another sheet. So I've got a rental two data set here, and this is another sheet that's sitting on my drive. And I can just take that and I can copy that sheet into my sheet here. And the goal really behind all these things is to be able to take data from multiple data sources, alter them and run a process automatically. I'm going to open up what I've built to execute these functions and we're going to extensions and we're going to app script. And I'm just going to talk through these functions here. I've got a video on how to run app script functions and how to get started. I'm going to put a link to that up above. First function on open I've covered in the previous video, but I'll just run through it here just to give it a bit of context. So I'm creating a menu on open. So when the spreadsheet opens, it creates a custom menu. So it's this menu here and I've called that custom functions. And then in that custom functions, I've listed out my items, which is my three functions that I've built here. So all you would do there is just add an item and then you would name what you want the name to come out as. And then you would put the function underneath and that will run those three functions. The first function we're going to run through is the copy selection to sheet. And with all these functions, what we want to do is follow a, a process. So the first step in the process is get the spreadsheet. The second step is get the get the sheet we want. The third step is get the range from that sheet. And the fourth step is get values. And then you have the value saved as an array. And then you can use that array to kind of alter the data or just put that data straight into a new sheet. So how we do it in the first function, which is the copy selection, is that because we've selected data, this will get the active sheet we're on, get the active spreadsheet we're on. So I'm setting a variable to the active spreadsheet. Then from that spreadsheet, I'm choosing a active sheet from that sheet down here. I'm choosing an active range and the, how the range works is that the range is one, one here. So if I was to choose this range in here, this would be range one, one to range six, three, one, one to six, three would be this selection here. I'm getting the values from that active range. And then I'm inserting a new sheet. And what I have to do is I have to set a new range on that sheet. So I'm, I'm inserting a new sheet. I've, I've set that to variable new sheet and then new sheet dot get range. So we're getting the range in this as well. One, one is the start of the range. And then we have range dot get number of rows and get number of columns. So that comes from the original range up here and then set values so we have the range now so the new range dot set values will put our data into the sheet copy to sheet so we get the active spreadsheet we're still in the same spreadsheet we get the active spreadsheet we pick here from the spreadsheet get sheets zero that will get all the sheets in the spreadsheet and pick the zero sheet so this the counting starts at zero zero one two three go down into get the last column and get the last row of that sheet so these are functions within app script so last column and last row. So what this will do here is that this is, is quite a large spreadsheet. And um, so it'll pick this 3297 and then 15. So that's the number of columns, that's the number of rows. It's selected that as the range and then we will get the values. And then what I'm doing in here is that I have the data now set as the range dot get value. So I've got all those values in. And just to show you how to then alter the data, I've set up a for loop here and for the every row. So every row, I think we said there was 3,297 where in the sixth column we've got an ARS. So in here we have currency ARS and in here we have currency Argentine peso. So that's how you would get started in manipulating the data. We are going through a loop and then we are setting each place we see ARS to Argentine peso. Again, like the last one, I have a new sheet. So I'm inserting a new sheet. I'm doing the get range. So I'm setting the range to one, one, and then 
get numbers of rows, get numbers of columns, and then set the data again. The last one we're gonna do is a copy from other. And the only change here is that we're reaching out to another sheet, getting that spreadsheet by its ID. So where we would have gone get active spreadsheet, we first have to set a variable for the ID. And the ID on this spreadsheet comes from this here. So you grab this from a spreadsheet that you want to copy the data from. This is the ID. And then we're going const x spreadsheet app dot open by ID. And then you put the ID in here. And this will give us access to this spreadsheet. And then we set a sheet to, and I've called this S. We've set a sheet to S dot spreadsheet, the first sheet. And I'm getting the last column, I'm getting the last row. These are functions, get last column, get last row in a data set. I'm again setting a range to that sheet with one, one, then last column and last row. I'm getting the values here and then I'm getting the spread, the active spreadsheet I'm currently on. I'm gonna insert a sheet like I did before and I'm gonna make a new range and then I'm gonna set the data there. Steps you wanna take is Decide what spreadsheet you want to get. If it's your active spreadsheet, then that's easier, right? You're getting your active spreadsheet. Decide what sheet you want, whether it's the active sheet or a specific sheet. Then we can get an active range. From that range, we get values. And then we set a range where we want that data to go. And then we can set the values in there. So this is really a fundamental step in learning App Script, how to get data and how to set data. And we'll go much deeper into what we do with that data in the next video. So the code for that we used in this video is sitting out there on GitHub. A link for that is down below. I hope you found this useful. Follow for more.